How does random bucketing work in full stack? Random bucketing in full stack works by bucketing based on the user ID and experiment or rollout ID, using hashing for consistent bucketing, and enabling sticky bucketing with a user profile service. Let's look at this visually. When calling an SDK API like is feature enabled, Optimizely uses the user ID passed in and Optimizely's internal ID of the feature or experiment to generate a random number between 0 and 10,000 using a hash function. The range from 0 to 10,000 corresponds to the sliders in the application's UI where 0 represents 0% and 10,000 represents 100%. The reason Optimizely uses a range to 10,000 rather than just 100 is so that each single difference represents a 0.01% difference in traffic allocation. This allows the Optimizely SDK to more easily represent precise traffic allocations like 41.25% without having to rely on a decimal representation, giving you granular control over your traffic allocation. When you set the percentage of a rollout to, say, 20% in the application, Optimizely's SDKs will interpret that as any number between 0 and 2,000 should get the feature enabled, and any number between 2,000 and 10,000 should not get the feature. In this case, user 1 did not get the feature. Since hash functions randomly but uniformly distribute their output, 20% of those eligible after audience targeting for the rollout will get the feature enabled. Hash functions also always generate the same output given the same input, meaning a given user ID will always get the same bucketing result for a specific feature rollout or experiment. So by default, Optimizely does not store a record of which experience each user should get in advance. Instead, the SDKs can recompute the random number each time the APIs are called and rely on the guarantee of a hash function's consistent result to maintain bucketing consistency. This also allows Optimizely to bucket users predictably and scalably by default. Because Optimizely does not store a record by default, changing the percentage rollout will change the resulting experience for specific user IDs. This is desirable for feature rollouts when you want the ability to both roll out a feature that is performing well, or roll back a feature that is not performing well. When running a controlled experiment, however, you don't want the experience to change for a user as that makes it unclear which variation to attribute user behavior to for results analysis. For most cases, this is not a problem because the experiment conditions are not changed for the lifetime of an experiment. In the case you want the experiences to be sticky despite changes in the experiment, you can implement a user profile service. A user profile service stores a record of which user got which experience to ensure user experience is sticky and does not change for the lifetime of the experiment. In this hypothetical example, we changed traffic allocation from 50% to 20% for the original, but the user profile service ensured user 8 and user 2 remain experiencing the original variation. In summary, full stack random bucketing works by bucketing based on the user ID and experiment or rollout ID, using hashing for consistent bucketing, and enabling sticky bucketing with a user profile service. Thanks for watching.